is how to do some basic stuff really easy and not complicated so you want to come up here in the workshop add a rule with a plus sign here it's going to name it play effect this is a really easy to do on go each player here you can have it for like say you want to on your on team one you want it for yourself player zero kind of come down here create an action come here and type in effect so you got play effect right here and you want it to be vis visible to everyone in the game and let's go for a good pickup effect choose a color let's just go for yellow the position event play which is yourself and you want the radius to be whatever number you want so let's do a 15 meter radius and then all you want to do is come over here to conditions you want to create a condition and you scroll up here and you press on is button held and say if I have it on interact which is a, you click down the left stick if you're on console and then you just want to load up the game and then basically you just be whatever hero you want and then come over here wherever you want to go as you see when I press this stick down boom a really cool effect plays I'll show you one more time left out free and a really cool effect plays uh, if you don't like that effect you can come back and you just go for let's do a bad explosion in red and we do, we'll show you, I'll show you this what it looks like just be a random hero or it doesn't matter who let's do a mo now press it down boom and a very cool explosion will play pretty cool that's the one basic thing right there you can do anyone could learn that and now I'm going to show you guys how to add text inside the map like you see in my custom games you see me put my channel name in there and stuff so basically like you can go to whatever location you want in the map where you want the text to be so say I want the text to be here you just stand there and then in the workshop you want to add a rule and you just say let's just name it text come here on going each player create action just type in text and then you you go for a create in world text in all players and do right, whatever you want the text to say you type it here so I'll say like the video and then you want to come to position you want to type in vec for vector press on vector and then press X on this camera here and I'll get the position that you're in on the map choose the size of the text on the scale so let's go for 1.5 meters and then press square for ok and now restart the, restart the game and then you just go to that position and now as you see the text is right here on the map so basically that's how easy it is to do you just do what I did and it's simple just stand wherever you want and then the text will be there now I'm going to show you guys how to set like a status onto your self or something like if you want to just set yourself on fire because why not just create a rule I'm just going to name it fire effect and you go to on any player you want it for yourself you just do slot zero and the team you're on and you want to come here you want to type in status and you want to st set status to do yourself event player and burning if you want infinite time that's infinite there to activate it if you want to activate it turn it on and off you can say jump we set you on fire and to turn it 
off you just make it do this so I put this to on and then you do fire effect off and what I do is come here I'm going to play a team one and just swap zero which is yourself and you want to do clear status event player burning and if I do is button held and then crouch you'll be able to turn it off so now when I restart the game all you have to do is spawn in as a hero and now when I press X I'm on fire and when I press cycle I'm no longer on fire simple and that's basic to do now if you want to add like text on the screen like you see in some other lobbies I'm going to name it HUD and then you want to go on Gunny Player create action type in text create HUD text you want to be the you want it to be visible to event player because if you have it all players and it'll just repeat on the screen for everyone it'd be annoying so event player means everyone can see it to themselves and not everyone else's text and say if you want to just have simple text you just type in here um, like if you're making like a custom game and you want some lobby rules you can just type in lobby rules and instead we'll move it to the right side of your screen and then change it to blue and then press square and then restart the lobby and now when you spawn in as you see Never on the right side of your screen and everyone else's screen it will say lobby rules and you can put like to put text under underneath it you're basically it has to be this number here like so where it's a sort order lobby rule if you're doing lobby rules you want to have it on sort, sort order zero and then if you want to have another piece of text underneath it so we just copy and paste it say so, say so right, i want to be be kind and then you set this number here to one and then you change the color to orange and then you restart the lobby and as you see it's underneath so Everything lobby rules the first rule is be kind and then you can just keep going on over so you, you just change put the number after it basically like and then if you want another another text underneath that you put the you put this not you just change it to the next number up so you, you add one every time basically that's how you do text on screen now if you want to do what i do when i have my you see like on the left side of your screen it says it shows the hero that I am and then it will say my name and then it says is host of the lobby to do that you just want to add a rule say this is name it host you want to go on going each player team one which is your honor and slot zero create an action so you want to do text again you want hard text visible to event player you want this header to be here you want to type in hero then go into hero icon string and then hero off event player subheader will be um uh, if i'm correct host player and you want text to be a costume string is lobby so is lobby owner you want on the left side of the screen and you want to just change it to green if i've done this correct it should now show it on the left hand side of the screen there you go Together we are strong. as you can see on the left side of the screen it shows the hero that i am 
my name and then is lobby owner and that's how you basically do that so once again just in case you didn't see it you want to create her text visible to event player header icon hero icon string hero of event player subheader host player text custom string and you just type it in here and you put it wherever you want on the screen top middle left top and right sorry and then you just want the color here of the border around the hero as you see and yeah that's how you see how you do the host of the lobby and basically if you want it to be everybody in the lobby you just come on here you just change this to if I'm correct uh wait hang on a sec yeah event player and then the one I think this one's visible to hang on a sec I don't remember how you do it subheader is I think just do all players let me just get rid of this hang on a sec and now we restart the match As you can see, it shows me the here I am and the, my name. And say if I add like an AI in here. Okay, it doesn't. It's not working. <laughs> I must have messed me up. Oops. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Why just do this again? Visible to event player is head of this hero icon string here of event player. Uh, team all. Hmm. Hang on a sec. I'm mixing up something that I always know how to code. I don't know how. There we go, that looks fine to me. Now let's try again with bots, see if it'll work. And now we just do some bots in the game. Okay, it's not working with the bots for some reason. You know, normally it does. I don't know why. Doesn't matter. Hopefully, it should show everyone in the game on the screen. Or do we just do this? Wait. Yeah, that should be fine. Ah. That should work. If not, then. Nah. Let's try again. The hot text. Visible to. Let's do all players, header, hero, icon string, hero off, event player, subheader, we'll just do a string to make it a perfect square, let's do hello, leave it in white. Okay, now it's not showing my name. <laughs> Let me start something. Hero of Event Player. I think this one's Event Player 2. And string. Let's type in chill. Redo this again, because I might mess it up. Right, there's my name and we're chill. And now let's get some bots in here to test this. If I did it right again. It used to work on bots, I'm guessing it doesn't work for bots. 
but yeah just do what I said like this but just have it visible here to the event player and when people in your lobby it should show their names on the left side of the screen so that's that done and now what else can I do I can make it so like if you want to like have a welcome message in your lobby when someone joins I'll show you how you do that so you just want to name it welcome message I'm going to each player create action you want to type in big and you go on big message invisible to the event player which is this this house and you want if you want to do the person's name you can do or you can just leave this you can say welcome here and then you want to create another action and do another big message visible to the event player and then you want to do discussion string you want to change it to event player that's the person's name and then you can do another big message so say welcome and then say like my name Valkyrie and then you can have it say to my custom game and you want to come and create a bit condition and then you want to type in has you're going had spawned and then when I restart the game you'll see on my screen this message right here it says welcome about killing and then to my custom game that's how you make a a welcome message in your custom games so go over again big message event player what you want it to say here big message event player event player the person's name and then big message event player and then whatever you want it to say here and then over here has spawned and then just leave it like this and then there'll be a welcome message on screen now if you want to know how to make an icon above the hero's head all you got to do is add a rule name it icon ongoing each player create an action just type in ic for icon create your icon visible to everybody if you want everyone position an event player which is on top of your, your head and you've got a whole bunch of options here of what you want the icon to be so like as you see I just like using the heart so we can see the heart we can make the heart red and then press square and then when I restart the game choose a hero and then while I do an emote as you see there's a red love heart up on my head and basically I just use this so everyone just knows where each other are and stuff in the map because if you want to meet up in the game or something then just what and then you'll know where they are why not etc etc and now let's have a look what else we can do let's just add a rule and go to e player now if you want like a wait feature so like say if you wanted like a certain amount of time and then something to happen so you go you go and create an action type in wa for wait and say you want to wait five seconds for it to happen you type in five and then you put what you want in here so like say after five seconds um we we'll do uh let's have a look After five seconds, we can make it so that you your your speed increases. Whatever number you want here, and you want to come on a condition, 
he wanted to do a high spawned. So now, five seconds after I spawn, my movement speed will be increased. So this is my normal movement speed now. And there you go, five seconds passed, and now I'm moving super fast. So that's basically how you make it. So if you want something to happen after a certain amount of time, that's how you do it. And that's what will happen. And you could do the same with like messages. So if you want to wait, say like five seconds, and then you want to, you want some text to be on the screen, you can do how text event player here, and then say. See one of these like the, the lobby rules. So this is like for like a cool effect. So we'll leave it on white. So now, five seconds after I spawn in, yeah, that text will appear on the right side of the screen. As you see there, it appeared right there. It's like a little cool animation. That's what I use in one of my custom games. And I'm going to show you guys how to create the teleport ability. So I'm just going to randomly save this. I've already made, so I'll grab it from here and just show you how you do it. So basically, all you got to do is go on here, type in abilities off. You want everyone's ability one to be turned off, so you go set ability one enabled event player and then type in here false, press square, and then you want to create another rule and just name it ability one and blink. So you want to come here, you want to set player variable event player A facing the direction of event player. And then you want to go another action, set facing event player, player variable, event player A to world. And then you want to do another action, teleport, event player, add, event player, multiply, facing direction of, event player, and then that's so far, you will blink forward, so it's 8 meters. And you want to do condition, is alive, event player equals true, and then is button held, event player ability 1, true. So I'll restart the game. And I, know you, I know you guys have seen it this so like and you can just basically teleport around the map like this and do go wherever you want and you can just easily go outside the map and that's how that's made super easy as I I show you like another cool weight feature thing too to do so let's go add a rule I'm just gonna name it force to be a certain hero. This is a feature I have in one of my game modes called Sharpshooter. Basically, in the game Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, there's a game mode called Sharpshooter where every 45 seconds you're given a random gun in the game and you basically have to get as many kills as you can to earn score to win the game before the timer runs out and basically I've made that in Overwatch I thought if you want to do that so like you wait a certain amount of time you or, or everyone in the game will become a hero you basically just do this you want to go I'm going each player all all create an action so you want to wait you want to do a wait and let's say 10 seconds and then you create an action again Type in force. You want to do start forcing player to be a hero. And you want to do it if you want everyone to become a hero. You just go player all players team all, and just do a hero Genji. So now when I restart the game, choose a hero, and in ten seconds. It will switch me to Genji. 
as you can see right there that's how you basically make it so like everyone who gives self become a, we can become a random hero every like certain amount of time so basically if you want to just switch to another hero afterwards you just get back on it you just copy this weight feature again so copy paste and then you copy this one again copy and paste and you just change the hero to like a, whatever hero you want so let's go mercy so now 10 seconds I should become Genji and then another 10 seconds I should become mercy so let's have a look so right now I'm Ash 10 seconds past I'm Genji now another 10 seconds pass and then I'm Mercy and that's how you do it, that's how you do it so you so everyone becomes a random hero every certain amount of time whatever time you say it's like you want to have the weight feature and then the soft force and you become a hero and then uh, the weight feature again and then the same hero thing again and just want to repeat over and over again and that's how everyone becomes a hero randomly like that and you can see I'll show you in the sharpshooter game mode from Call of Duty that maze because in that game everyone you get, a, you get a different gun every 45 seconds so basically every 45 seconds become a random hero so 45 seconds it would say then afterwards there will be a message and it will say everyone is now Genji and you'll become Genji and in another 45 seconds everyone is now McCree and there you go you're now you'll be McCree and once again it repeats 45 seconds everyone is now Mercy hero Mercy and all the way down to a Sombra should be the last hero I've got about 10 heroes there if I'm correct and if you want it so that it only works when you start the actual game mode you just put here is game in progress so it'll be ready there as soon as you click on create an action condition so now this will only apply if I actually start up the actual game and there's this little welcome message in here so like it will say Valkyrie welcome to sharpshooter overwatch edition and then my youtube channel goes why not and this will pop up when you spawn in and there's a, there's a timer so the game will last Eight, eight and a half minutes, something like that. And then there's just got well, instructions. So six seconds after you spawn, it'll be instructions. You have eight minutes to get as many kills as you can. And you'll become a different hero every 45 seconds. Good luck, have fun. And after 10 seconds, that'll be destroyed. And then I just got a, I just randomly added the kill message. So when you get a kill, it'll say, you got a kill. Congrats, you got a kill. And then when you die, it'll say, you died, better luck next time. So basically I'll show you guys how this, what it looks like. So I've restart the match. Welcome to Castile. Wait for the load up. I'm gonna end this because that's a fail.